So this is problem 558. Decide if each pair of triangles below are similar. If they are similar, explain what condition they met. If they are not, explain how you know. So the first one, because they don't give me any angles, the only possible way they could be similar would be side, side, side. So I have to check and make sure that they have the same side length ratio, otherwise they're not going to be similar. So if I match up the sides, 18 over 12 has to be the same ratio as 15 to 5, 15 to 10, and 17 to 11. So 18 over 12 is 1.5, 15 over 10 is 1.5, and 17 over 11, ooh. This is true, this is not. So they're not similar. because the side ratios are not all the same. Because 17 divided by 11 is 1.545. It's not actually 1.5. Letter B. Um, right here they give me two sides and an angle in between, so maybe I could do side angle side. Ooh, and it does work because 8 divided by 5 and 8 divided by 5 are equal. So that means there's the same side ratio for corresponding sides, and the angles are the same. So similar, yes, by side, angle, side. This last one, um, if I know that they're equilateral sides, like let's just say that this is x, Ooh, and they all equal each other because that's what those marks mean. And then this is a different size, y. Then I actually know, even if I don't know the numbers, I do know that they're going to have the same ratio because if they're all the same, if I multiply x by 2, let's say, to get y, then I would also be able to multiply this by 2 and this by 2. So yes, they're similar by side, side, side. Another way that you guys could look at it is if you remember, equilateral triangles always have 60 degree angles, right? Because if I have three equal sides, I have three equal angles. So 180 divided by 3 is 60. So you could also say by angle, angle, because we know that equilateral triangles have three angle measures of 60 degrees. And then the last one. The last one gives me, it gives me a right triangle and then two sides. I can't actually use side angle side because I need to know this side length, but I could find that side length using the Pythagorean theorem. So if I do that as x, x squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. So that would be x squared plus 9 equals 25. Take away 9 from both sides, x squared equals 16, so then I take the square root, so x equals 4. Okay, so then, then maybe I could do side angle side. So if I do side angle side, yeah, the angles are equal because they're both 90, and then the corresponding sides would be the longer legs would match and the shorter legs would match, and I don't have to worry about the 5 because it doesn't really matter. I don't need it. And... Yes, they are similar because they both have a zoom factor of 2. So I would say yes by side, angle, side. Another way that you could, you could do it is we actually have the capability of finding this side using the Pythagorean theorem. So 6 squared plus 8 squared equals y squared, if I call that side y. So 60, 36 plus 64 equals y squared. So that would be 100 equals y squared. And then if you take the square root of both sides, y equals 10. And then you could say that they're similar by side, side, side. So either way, you do have to do more calculations to know that they're similar.